Hello and welcome to another Black Desert Online tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we're going to be going over things like channels and character selection, switching characters, logging off, and sending to system tray and things like that. Just basic, you know, uh, housekeeping kind of things when it comes to moving in and out of the game and dealing with characters. So I've got my character logged in here. If I push escape, there are buttons that say channel shift and disconnect. And what is a channel and what is a server? Let's go ahead and define that. A server, basically your character has to exist on a server. You can't, sh you can't shift your character from one server to another. So I'm on the server Edan right now. But there are multiple channels on that server and that just controls how many people I see on my screen so that it doesn't get too crowded in towns and things like that. So I can see those. If I go to channel shift, I can see that I'm currently in Elyon number one, which is crowded. There's also Balanos number one, Calpheon number one, Serendia number one, and Media number one. And I can enter any of those that I would like to. And uh, if, your guild if your guild mates are in one of the other channels, you won't see them. So you gotta make sure to coordinate with your party or with your guild mates or with whoever you're trying to coordinate with. You gotta make sure that they're on the same channel as you are so that you can see them and interact with them. So that's how you switch channels quickly. Also, you can do it from the disconnect screen. If you click disconnect you can also switch to a different channel like this and then that'll bring up the same channel shift screen you can also transport so if you want to take your character to a different place like Hydel City but you don't want to sit there and auto run you want to play another character I can say I want to take this character to Hydel City but I want to play while I'm waiting for that character to arrive I want to play another character I want to play Priscilla and I can do that I can also uh, da, 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 go to character selection screen if I'd like to and that'll take me to the, scene, uh, the screen where I can select which character I want to play as uh, at the bottom you can see I have recently completed quests it, sh it gives me a recap of what I've done recently what quests I've recently completed and on the bottom right you see a journal of things I've recently accomplished I can also add an additional record if I want to remember oh yeah I need to go ahead and the next thing I need to do is do this quest or gather this material that's where I left off. You can leave a little note for yourself so that you can remember what you need to do the next time you log in. Uh, finally, we got the end game button. If you click that end game button, you can end the game. You can actually close the game client. Or, if you prefer, you can keep the game loaded in the background and send it to Trey. And the upside of doing this is that uh, it doesn't use as much. It doesn't use very much processor. It doesn't use quite as much memory. It just minimizes the game. And then that way, the next time you come to play you'll just uh, click on the button and the game will pop right back up. You don't have to worry about logging back in. I left my game on overnight and just sat AFK and I came back and it was ready to go when I came back. So uh, some people do this to AFK fish. I, I haven't, I don't know if there's any difference between AFK fishing with the game up or the game in the system tray. I haven't really tested that, but it seems like it's a good way to do it, you know? And then what else? That is it. That is it on, on, on doing that. Now, I will go to character selection screen, so I can show you a little bit on that screen of changing servers and making new characters and all that kind of stuff. Also, oh, might as well go over deleting characters. Why not? So once you move to the character select screen, uh, we got different characters available here. We also can go to channel selection. It looks like I emptied out a couple of my character slots, which is useful because now I can actually make a couple more characters I wanted to try out. So we have Edan, where I have two characters on there, and I have Orwin, there's two characters on there. So if I change to Orwin and click enter, new characters show up. Shorp, Shor, Hippa, and Superhunk. So this is one my wife made, and she called him Superhunk. Yeah. Looks adorable, doesn't he? Uh, ne next, we can go to uh, channel selection. We can actually select which channel we want to be in, and it'll log that character into that channel. Excuse me. I did that backwards. I selected channel. Now I have to select Super Hunk, and then I have to push connect. And then it'll log me in as Super Hunk. So yeah, there you go. That's how you switch characters. That's how you handle characters. Uh, one thing I did forget to show you guys is how to delete characters. It takes three days right now to delete a character. And that button is disconnect, in game, no not in game, character selection, yes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we'll show you how to delete a character if you made one and you want to get rid of it and empty out a space for additional characters.
Come on. There you go. So if you if you have a character you don't like, you want to delete it, you can click on the delete button or delete him. You can click on the delete button and it'll say, do you want to delete this character? You cannot restore deleted character. You can click yes and it'll say deleting in, you know, X number of days. And then it gives you some time to rethink it. So like I know in some situations people are like, oh, my little brother or my little sister or my sibling or my nephew or the dog or the cat walked on the keyboard and now my character is deleted. What do I do? Well, now you actually have three days that it waits. So the next time you log in, you say, hey, somebody scheduled my character to be deleted. I don't want that to happen. You push cancel and boom, character's not deleted anymore. So now we can go back to character selection and go to Orwin and get back into my current character. Not, uh, that's not my current character. Get back into Aiden and my current character. And there's my current character, yay! There's Lysilla. Lysilla. I just kind of randomly put some letters together that fit, and that is probably not going to be my name coming in the release. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's how you deal with connecting characters, deleting characters, changing channels, and all that sort of thing. Uh, hope you hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have that I can answer. And, um, yeah, feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And finally, remember, keep it clean.